Hello and welcome to part 5 of the Unreal Engine beginner tutorial series. So in this tutorial we are going to start with blueprints. So this will be a very brief introduction and what we are going to do is learn how to toggle on and toggle off a light with blueprints. Something very simple and you'll probably understand it once you've made it. However, uh, we don't want the blank project we had before. We want to use the third person template. I want to be using uh, this project probably for pretty much a few more videos and we want to make sure we have we have starter content enabled so just wanted to make that clear okay so what we are going to do now so if you when you open this up you'll see that we have a player over here and like some cool things going on so if you press play we'll be able to move the character with the W A S a, S, and D keys, and we can jump with space and all that cool stuff. So, what we are going to do is let's go into let's look for a box collision. So, in all classes, and I'll explain what it is. And actually, no, we need to create a, an actor. Sorry, sorry. So, normally, blueprints, I'm not sure if you remember this. But I did explain that normally, like for example, an actor or something has blueprints in it. And we want to add blueprints to every single thing that we want to interact with or that has to store information. So what we're going to do is add a blueprint class and we want to make an actor. And pretty much an actor is sort of like an object that stores information and you interact with. That's an actor. And we're going to name this actor light. So if we open up this actor, you'll see that we have this sphere over here. And this will not show up. This is kind of like the origin. Okay. So we want to add a component and we want this to be a light. And let's make this a point light. And let's make it a red color. So I hope you remember this from last tutorial. So there's other ways also of creating lights in it, and it's by adding them to an actor. And the reason why we want this light in the actor, it's so we can interact with that light. Because if we add the light directly into the map, we won't be able to interact to interact with it because it won't be part of an object. Okay? So I hope you understand that. So we also want to add another component and it's called a box collision. And we want to make this a bit bigger. So let's lock this over here and let's make it uh, maybe five. The reason why we want to lock it is because when you press five on when you type in five and any of these values, it's going to apply in every in every axis. Okay. So before I keep going, I do want to, to explain what are what variables are. So imagine you have like an empty box, okay? That box is a variable and it stores something. Okay, that's a variable. It's something that stores a value and there are different kinds of values. So if we go into variables, let's, let's just type in test. So we have this red variable over here. So if we type, so we, if, you, if you press on this red icon, you'll see that we can change the, the uh, variable type. So Boolean will store a true or false value. And this is more for like logic stuff. So if, for example, let's say if the player is shooting and we have a variable that's true. So if it's shooting, it cannot reload, for example, we can do something like that. So a Boolean will be used for something like that. Byte, integer and float are very similar. They, stir, they store numbers. So uh, an integer will store any kind of number that does not have decimals. And a float will store a value with decimals and a byte as well. A name and a string and a text are pretty much the same. Normally you won't use names, 
you will almost only use strings and sometimes text they are pretty much the same and it stores uh, like uh, like a text like for example if you say hello world you can store it uh, in these three variables a vector is not a normal variable that you would see in other programming languages a vector has three values just like we did in the material tutorial it's not like red green and blue it's more like what's well, X Y and Z and it stores the position and rotator is very similar but instead of uh, storing the position it stores the rotation and the transform it's kind of like a mix between vector and rotator okay and we also have some other kinds of variables but that's for a different tutorial so we have these nodes over here and we can actually delete all these we don't need those right now and if we you want to make sure you select box over here make sure it's in this orange yellowish color and you want to right click and you want to add event for box I'll explain what the event is right now but just follow along and we want to do one on begin overlap and another one on oops we need to make select the box and another event for on um, actually no we only want one event so pretty much an event it's something like it's going to say to the program to execute so you always want to start your code with some sort of event so this is not an event you would normally use. Normally you would start with something like begin play. And event begin play will execute once that uh, actor appears in the game. So when you open up the game and you have this, for example, the character over here, and you say to, you say the character to, for example, die, it's going to die automatically. And it's only going to execute once and it's something you will probably use in most blueprints there's also a very uh, popular uh, event which is the tick and this event executes every single frame so if you are if you are unaware of what a frame is it's sort of like the frame rate so normally games would run something like 30 or 60 frames per second and there's so it so let's say if a game runs at 60 frames per second this is going to execute 60 times so what we have over here is a different kind of event it's still kind of common and this event is well first of all the reason why I'm starting off with this event it's because the other uh, begin play and tick event is more for a bit more advanced so this although it's, they're really common this is all this is much more simpler so we have this execution um, output and this will connect with every code you put over here so if you for example well I'll explain later but pretty much what this event will do it's when we begin overlap with this box in the viewport will do something to the light. That's what we're going to use this event for. So let's drag the light. And this is just, this has, this is a, a different kind of variable. It's an object variable and it stores the information of the point light. So let's drag out of here and let's choose to toggle active. And I think what toggle active does, not sure though. If not, we can find a different solution. But it should basically toggle on and off the light. So let's connect that. And we need to connect this. And we also want to. The other. Oh, okay. So the overlap component. 
Okay, so we actually don't want toggle active. I, there's a lot of blueprints. What we want is toggle visibility. And what we want to do is let's select this. And this will pretty much execute. So once we begin overlapping, it should this should execute. So let's compile. And let's drag the light somewhere over here. And you can see that the box collision is this box over here. So once we um, step in that box collision, it should turn off. And as you can see, it turned off. And when we go back in, it turns on. So that's pretty simple. So I hope you understood uh, what uh, pretty much a blueprint is. If you have any questions, make sure to comment down below. I'll try to, I'll give many more examples because we can go, we can just learn so many things with blueprints. This is just a very brief introduction to how a blueprint works. So I'll just go over it again because I know it's a lot to take in. So the variables, as I, as I said before, we have a Boolean which stores a true or false. These three store numbers. These three store text. And these three stores pretty much like a location, rotation, and a mix of and transform has both. An event is something that executes the rest of the code. And well, I did not explain this, but every single box of these are called nodes. And this is the code that's being activated by the event. So I really hope you understood it. If you have any questions, as I said before, make sure to comment down below. In future videos, I'll give much, many more examples, so don't worry if you don't understand it. It's completely normal. So thanks for watching, and see you in the next one. Bye.